Where to go concerns amid rising RV and car camping all across the city. At 5 o'clock, I'm Jeff Giannola. I'm Elizabeth Din. We are hearing tonight from viewers in a Northeast Portland neighborhood battling this issue for years now. And Coin wants to know where are the places for the people living in those vehicles to go? Our Brandon Thompson speaking to the people living in that neighborhood. And Brandon, you've reported on this very neighborhood many times in the past over this exact same problem. Yeah, we were first in the Argay Terrace neighborhood over a year ago, and in the time since then, and now the car and RV camps have come and gone, despite a shelter dedicated for vehicles opening since then. It's a similar feeling now. We've seen this for like two, three years now. As it was in 2022 for Dolores Livesay. They're just moving. It's not working. Camps of cars and RVs have come back to the park in the Northeast Portland neighborhood, bringing problems with it, like to the camper on Livesay's driveway. My husband said um, it looked like somebody tried to break into it. Um, the lock was busted out. The guy was looking in our mailboxes a couple years back, and this neighbor had given me a video of a guy with his shirt off, looking at the camera with a gun in his hand. You could see he had a gun. And I was like, oh, he's in our backyard at night. I think this is a chop shop now. The chop shop, she says, is right where the school bus drops off kids. Livesay thinks a shelter of some kind would be best for the people living here. That's the place for them, not somebody's neighborhood. So we checked in. The City of Portland Safe Rest Village program opened the Sutherland Safe Park site in June with 55 spots. The quarterly data has only tracked three months so far, finding the nine people who have exited the shelter did not leave to housing, but rather to other homeless situations. Situations instead. City staff tells me they hope when the next temporary alternative shelter site opens in North Portland, it will have 120 spots for vehicles and 20 pods. The goal is to open it by the summer. The county also working to open a site in the Montevilla neighborhood for 30 cars or 40 people with hopes to open sometime this year. They need to say you either going to go to a shelter, you're going to go over here, you're going to get some job training, you're going to do something, not just let them keep doing what they're doing. So when people move into these shelters dedicated for vehicles, they are referred to those facilities. The city tries to avoid wait lists for equity reasons, as well as avoiding people lining up outside of shelters. Live in Southeast Portland, Brandon Thompson, Point Six News. All right, Brandon, thank you. The 